Bethany. What's up? Oh, hey, Riley. Just got done working out. What about you? Oh, well, I just got out of a seminar. It was like so amazing. Another seminar? You mean that women's group again? Yeah, the Sisters of Light have like really changed the way I'm looking at things. Well, I'm really glad, Riley. So what kind of things are you looking to learn there? Oh, well, just amazing things. Like truly groundbreaking ways of changing your life. Like changing your way of thinking, changing your way of seeing yourself, seeing the world. And really just, I don't know, coming into your own as a woman, you know? Right. Well, I'm not sure, sister, but I'm pretty sure we did that when we were about 12. A little earlier for you, if I remember correctly. Oh, come on, Beth. That's not what I meant. I meant coming into your own feminine spirit. Okay, well, fine then. Sorry. I didn't know you meant coming from our own feminine spirit. As feminists, we really have a lot of sight of what makes us women, don't you think? I don't know, Riley, maybe. I guess that depends on what you mean by women. I mean, when you look into the mirror, what do you see? I know what I see. Do you know what you see? Um, I see my reflection. I see my big nose and my frizzy hair and and my pouty. I see me. Ah, yes, you see you. And who is that, Beth? Who is you? Um, don't you mean who are you? No, no, I don't, Beth. I don't mean that at all. I mean what I say. I mean, who is you? Okay, well, I don't have the answer to. Well, would you like to find out? Don't answer that. Not yet because you don't even know the answer to it. In fact, you won't even know the question until you're there, until you're experiencing it for yourself. Um, until I'm where, Riley? Until I'm experiencing what? Well, sister, I was hoping that you would keep an open mind. And I know you're a little skeptical of my new family. Uh, well, just a little. I mean, it just all seems a little, like, too new agey and stuff. You know, it's like kind of a lot. Well, I was hoping then that you'd like to come up to the mountains with me this weekend. With us. And experience it for yourself. I mean, you don't have anything else going on, so... What do you mean? You mean just go up to the mountains? Why? Well, we're having a small retreat just about six of us. And this won't mean anything to you, but this is everything to me. Salem Grimes. Salem Grimes? Who the hell is Salem Grimes? Sounds like a porn star. Well, she isn't. Far from it. In fact, she's the leader and founder of the sisters and a true visionary. She's the most brilliant person I've ever known. So what's going to be going on at this retreat? Well, we'll just be having some small talks together, some meditation, some hikes. Hikes? Well, yes, it's an incredibly cleansing experience for the body. A strong, vigorous hike is. Oh, well, I don't know anything about strong and vigorous. Well, there's always a spa day immediately after. Oh, okay. I see then. And the house is beautiful. One of a kind. It was built by the famous Swedish architect Nils Nilsson. And there's an in-ground heated pool, sauna, and steam. And a gourmet chef on site for the weekend. Gourmet? Really? Come on, just stay for the weekend. At least then I can drive you back down to the airport. If you're sick of us and you can go home. Come on, please, Beth. <sighs> fine, fine. But only for the vacation aspect of it. I could put up with listening to a little pseudoscience psychobabble for some spa days and a gourmet chef in the mountain. Oh, great, great. Thank you so much. You won't regret this. I promise, sis. Hey. 
Hey, little brother, how you doing? Oh, not bad, big sister. How are you today? Uh, well, I guess I have to say that I could be better. I just got roped into going into the mountains to some women's retreat with our sister. What are you talking about? How did you let yourself get into that? Well, she suckered me in with promises of gourmet chefs and spa days. Oh, I see. Well, that's all on you then, isn't it? Hey, come on, where's your sympathy? I have to be with a bunch of hippie women all weekend. Well, you don't have to be. It was your decision. Still, I'm doing it for all of us. I'm a little bit concerned. This thing seems a bit... I don't know, out there? Yeah, you're telling me. From what I've heard about it from Mom, well... It seems like one of those crazy cults you hear about from California. Like the kind that puts brands on their members or something. Well, if I come back with any brandings, please have me committed. And her sister, too. Oh my god, Mom would be so mad if I got branded. She was mad enough at me about the tattoo. And how does she feel about her other daughter possibly joining a cult? Well, I think she's just as concerned for the rest of us. And I think that's why she's okay with me going down there for the weekend. What does she want you to do, though? Did she give you a mission? Mom? She wants me to feel the place out. I guess she wants me to see what we're up against and how we can get our sister out of there. But don't you think that will be easier said than done? I mean, don't you think we'll have to deprogram her or something? If it is a cult, that is, and not just some dumb self-help group. I don't know. I guess all that remains to be seen, doesn't it? I guess I'll find out soon enough. Well, just make sure you don't fall under their spell and get yourself recruited. I can't have two sisters in a cult. That would just be embarrassing. Don't worry, that would never happen to me, believe me. Yeah, but that's what everyone says right before they lace up the Nikes and board the mothership. Well, you aren't one to talk when it comes to fashion. I'd say a lot of cults dress a lot better than you do. Oh, please. Fashion is so dead. Even if it wasn't, I don't have any time for that. I'm too busy creating. Oh, yeah? What is it that you're creating except a giant headache for me right now? Well, I'm currently working on this app that will get you cell phone service in areas where before you couldn't get any. Yeah, and how does that work? And why is it blocked by a satellite? It bypasses a signal that is typically blocked by a satellite. Well, I guess there are reasons. Right, so is this particular app that you're developing legal? Well, no, not yet. And it probably never will be. And of course, you know why. Because they don't want you to have it. Because it will cost them too much money, as always. Right, right, of course. So does this one actually work on like all your other prototypes and failed inventions of yours? Well, no, not yet. But I'm getting closer every day, going out into areas where it's hard to get a signal, and it's getting better. You see, one of these days it's going to work, and it'll be a huge success. And I'll make millions, and you'll just be stuck at home. Hey, I'm not stuck at home right now. You're the one that's stuck at home. I live on my own. You still live with mom and dad. Oh, shut up. Who cares? I'm going to move out soon. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Honestly, I am. I'm saving up money from my hamster streaming channel. Okay, okay, whatever. I believe you. Well, anyway, I can't believe that I'm going on this retreat or whatever this is. You really need to be careful. These people could be dangerous. Really? Do you think so? Well, I mean, if they're a cult, of course they're dangerous. Every cult is dangerous. Yeah, well, I suppose you're right about that one. Of course I'm right. I know what I'm talking about. All right, fine, sure. Well, I guess I'll just have to wait and see what happens. Hold up. Before you go, I want you to download my app. Oh, come on. I don't need that thing. Besides, it's not going to work anyway. Well, you never know. Just take it in case you're going to be out in the mountains. All right, fine. Fine, just to make you happy. Jeez, I'm making my sister happy. I'm making my mother happy. I'm making my brother happy. When am I going to make myself happy? Oh, poor you. Hello, Beth. How are you finding the grounds? Are your accommodations adequate? Yeah, sure. 
Thank you, Salem. This place is really beautiful. My sister wasn't kidding me. Well, this place has been in my family for generations. Oh, really? Who started your, um, your group? Oh, no, of course not. I mean, my aunts and mother and grandmothers, of course, had a huge influence on me. But this group, the sisters, is all my own invention. Well, I know that you've given my sister a lot of, um, things to think about. Well, your sister is an exceptionally bright young girl. I don't think it would be very hard to get her to think about anything. Oh, gee, really? Do you think so? Well, that's something we've never heard about her before. Oh, uh, well, it's very true. She just needs someone to bring out her potential. And you think that you're the best person for that job? Well, if not me, then who? I, I don't know, maybe. Oh, I see you're one of those types who thinks they can do everything all by themselves. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that at all. When your sister came to me, she was an absolute mess. Oh, I know, believe me, that's her default position. Well, she was 20 pounds overweight, she was drinking, she was vaping, and she was eating fast food practically every day. Not to mention her social media usage was out of control. I had to practically pry her iPhone out of her greasy, pudgy hands. Well, here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. What is that? A joke? Because, you know, jokes and sarcasm are usually just defense mechanisms. Well, then I guess consider me well defended. I noticed you struggling on mile eight of the 20 mile hike today. You had a sort of strange, faraway look in your eyes. Yeah, well, I think at that point my fluids were beginning to run out. That might have been that faraway look. Well, nevertheless, I couldn't help but get the feeling that you were searching for something. Yeah, well, I was searching for my granola bar in my bag because I had forgotten that you banned them because of their sugar content. No, it was something else. It was something more than that. It was something spiritual, or a lack thereof. Um, well, maybe, I don't know. To tell you the truth, I don't think so, Salem. What? What do you mean? I mean, I'm not searching for any answers right now. I mean, I'm not like my sister. So then why are you here if you weren't searching for answers? Well, I guess I'm here because my sister invited me. And I heard that the food was going to be really good, which did not disappoint. Yes, well, Barbara is an excellent chef. She studied in Milan, in Paris. Her name is Barbara. She told me it was Anastasia. Oh, well, that is her sisterly name. When she's here in the mountains, we all go by our sisterly names here. Well, is that why you keep calling my sister Cleopatra? Yes, it is who she most identifies with in history. It is our latest self-actualization exercise. Would you like to try it? Um, yeah, sure. Okay, I guess. Great. Excellent. Excellent. Well, the first step is to close your eyes and count to ten. All right. Okay, wonderful. Now, the first woman who comes to mind in history, that is who you identify with. Your true you. And that is who we will call you for the rest of the week. So, who is it? Um, uh, so my mind is blank. You must go with the first person who comes to mind. Um, Eva Braun. Oh, no, wait, hold on a second. Um, uh, maybe you should pick someone else. I'm sorry. I was just watching a lot of History Channel documentaries last week with my little brother. Yes, well, perhaps we can try again later. Well, anyway, we do hope to see you at the ceremony later this evening. Ceremony? What's the ceremony? There's a ceremony? Oh, your sister didn't tell you about the ceremony? No, she didn't mention a ceremony. I think I would have remembered that word. Well, it's kind of a new thing that we're trying out for new members like your sister. Oh, well, what about me? Am I not allowed to join in because I'm not technically a member like the cool kids? Well, we'll see what we can do about you in the meantime. Talk to you later, Beth. Yeah, I guess I'll talk to you later then. Hey, Beth, where are you? We're preparing for the ceremony and Salem wants to see you. See me? Why does she want to see me? I don't know. She said she wants to give you something. Riley, what is all of this that you've got us wrapped up in? What? What do you mean wrapped up in? I haven't gotten this wrapped up in anything. This is a great thing we're doing. Why can't you see that? Riley, this is not a great thing. This is a cult. Can't you see what this is? A cult. Why do you keep saying that? Why do you keep saying it's a cult even when you're here? When you've seen it with your own two eyes, you still keep calling it a cult? Well, I'm sorry, sister, but when that crazy Salem woman is making me go on 20-mile hikes so I can think that I'm Eva Braun, this is a cult where I come from. 
even though we come from the same place. Well, I just don't understand why you just can't be happy for me. Happy for you? What are you talking about? Happy for what? Happy that you're being brainwashed into a very mediocre cult? No, you're jealous that I finally found a little bit of peace after all of my struggles, and you haven't been able to. Yeah, well, I may not have been able to find any peace for any of my struggles yet, and I may never find that. And who knows, maybe you aren't even supposed to. But all that I know is that this isn't the way to find enlightenment. And what do you know about finding enlightenment? You're the least spiritual person I've ever met. Well, so what? What does that have to do with anything? I can still know a cult when I see one. It's not a cult. And once you finally join, you'll see. And once you finally see what happens to me at the ceremony tonight, you'll get it. <sighs> what do you mean? Riley, what is going to happen at the ceremony tonight? Well, wouldn't you like to know? But guess what? I'm never going to tell you. Because you don't deserve to know. Because you are an unbeliever. Come on, Riley, tell me. Tell me what's going to happen. It's only going to be the best night of my life. It's too bad you aren't going to be allowed to see. What? What? <laughs> Won't I be allowed to see? My branding! This is my branding ceremony. I'm finally being branded with a sister sign! What? You're being branded like a cow? That's right! And it's going to be a beautiful thing. I will be one with the rest of the group. It's what I've always wanted. Always? What's always? Since when? What is this, Riley? What are you searching for? I guess I just want to belong somewhere. What do you mean you do belong somewhere? Where? And where is that? Where do I belong? With you and mom and dad and James? Well, considering that we are your family, I would say yes, you do belong with us. Well, maybe in the past, but I have a new family now, and tonight it will be made official when the sign of the sister will be branded on me. And where? Where will you be defiling your flesh forever with this stupid brand? Just a small area on the top of my thigh, the left thigh. So the top of your butt? So you're going to brand the top of your butt? No, I said it was the thigh. So don't put words in my mouth and don't go home telling mom that it was my butt because it wasn't. Oh, do you really think that the location of the branding is really going to be our mother's biggest concern? Well, I don't know what her biggest concern is going to be. And guess what? I never will. And why is that, Riley? Because I'm never coming back. That's why. What? What are you talking about you're never coming back? I mean just what I said. I'm never coming back. I'm staying up here in the mountains with my sisters forever and ever and ever. Well, number one, you can't do that because you have a life and school and work and friends and family back home. And two... You can't do that because you're my ride to the airport and without you I would have to walk. Because I have no service out here and I can't call an Uber. Well, I'm so sorry about that supposed sister, but that's not my problem anymore because you aren't family. What? Come on, Riley, you can't be serious. Well, I'm serious. Just face it, Beth. I've changed and you can either come along with me or you can't. And apparently, you just can't. Do you know how arrogant you sound right now, Riley? How cocky and self-assured? Well, I am self-assured. Why wouldn't I be self-assured when I know the truth? The truth? And what's that? The truth about her return. The truth about whose return? Salem's grandmother, Tabitha Welch? Oh, another great name. She was the one who founded the sisters. What? Salem told me that she was the one that came up with all of this nonsense. Oh, she, she did? That's a little bit strange. It isn't if you know anything about cults, Riley. 
The leaders are total narcissists and megalomaniacs. It's all about them. Well, whatever. It should be all about Salem. She's a prophet and a genius. And it's such a shame that you won't be able to see the ceremony. Oh, I'll be there, Riley, believe me. Because I'll be there to stop it. Oh, I don't think so, sis. What? What do you mean? Well, if you try to open up your cabin door right now, you will find that it is locked. What the hell, Riley? What are you doing? I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. Salem did. She told me that you had to stay there until the end of the weekend. That you were a liability? Wait, no. Riley, you have to let me out of here now, please. I'm sorry, Beth. I just can't. Wait, wait, Riley, no! Well, hello, Bethany. How is everything in your accommodations? Well, I'll tell you what, Salem. They would be a whole heck of a lot better if I wasn't locked in by them by a crazy cult leader. Crazy cult leader? Oh, please. These are simply labels that the media likes to put on ahead of their time geniuses. Yeah, sure, okay. Whatever. So that's what this is about? You just want to be famous like everybody else these days? Of course I want to be famous. I want to influence the world, to change it, to empower every woman in it. Is that really what you're doing though? Empowering women? Well, of course I'm empowering women. Look around you. The hiking, the talks, the studying, the meditation, the singing. All of this is for the benefit of empowering my sisters. Well, I'll tell you what, sister. I can say with total and complete confidence that I have never felt less empowered in my entire life than I am right now. What do you mean, Bethany? Well, I mean you have me locked in a cabin while you're preparing to burn your own personal brand into the flesh of my sister with a red glowing hot iron. Your sister has chosen to devote her life to me and my organization. Your sister has made up her mind. It is her choice. Oh, come off it, Salem. Can't you see she's a child? What do you mean a child? She's 18. Yeah, and her brain isn't going to be fully formed for another seven years, so cut her some slack. Oh, I'll cut her some slack, all right. I'll cut her some slack when I'm pushing that hot iron into her supple young flesh. Well, I don't think that's going to happen, Salem. Oh, and how come? Why isn't it going to happen? Do you think that you can stop me now? You and what army? Oh, I'm an army of one, Salem? Well, me and this paperweight I found in the cabin that I just broke the window with? What? You did not. Yeah, I did. What? You didn't think I could just break a window? But, but that's vandalism and, and destruction of property. I could have you sued and arrested. Yeah, except you're forgetting one thing, darling. Oh yeah? And what's that? You kidnapped me, you lunatic. And that's against the law too. Like really against the law. Well, I'm running to your sister right now. You can't stop me. I'm going to brand her. I don't think you are, Salem, because she's with me now. Perhaps unwillingly. And I may have her in a headlock, but she's with me now. Well, good luck getting out of here. You know, there's no cell phone service for miles, and without my GPS, you'll never find your way out. Oh, I think we may just have to see about that. Oh, and what does that mean? Don't ever underestimate my family, Salem. James, are you out there? Are you getting this text? Please tell me you're getting this text. Hey, long time no speak. So how's the trip? I'm getting this text, so I'm assuming back at the airport and you have service again. Well, which one of those do you want me to answer first, little brother? Um, okay. Well, how is the trip? Well, I just escaped the cabin that Salem imprisoned me in, went and rescued Riley, and now we're in the car using your app to get service. It turns out we were right. It's a cult. Salem was insane. She was about to brand Riley in some sort of weird ceremony involving her dead grandma. Wait a minute. What? Yeah, Salem's a total cult leader. And I saved our sister from being forever brainwashed just in the nick of time. No, 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 no. Not about that. About my app. So it's working? Yeah, James, it's working. It's actually working real great. Great job. Oh, cool. Awesome. And uh, sorry, I'm really happy about all the rest too. I mean, I figured it had to be a cult, right? Um, yeah, well, it was. Huh. Well, how do you like that? So, are you guys on the next flight out of there? Yeah, I guess so. 
I mean, maybe we should stay and report all of this to the police. But to be honest, I just kind of want to get home. Yeah, I mean, we still haven't seen the new John Wick. Yeah, that's right. I totally forgot that was even out. Yeah, you don't want to waste your time talking to a bunch of mountain cops about some lady cult. Come home and go to the movies. Well, alright. I guess I'll see you in a few hours then. Oh, uh, but wait. I almost forgot. I guess I should ask about my other sister. How's Riley doing? Is she going to be okay? Does she need to be deprogrammed? Well, she's pretty shaken up, but I think she'll be okay. Maybe a little deep programming is in order. Nothing a little Keanu won't fix. Hey, Beth, do you think we're kind of a weird family? Believe me, James, I've met much, much weirder. Bethany and Riley made it home safe from the mountains and met up with James at home. James took the role of a culty programmer himself and was surprisingly effective, a natural in fact. And Riley was back to believing in nothing. In a matter of hours, they all went and saw John Wick 4 and found it a rollicking good time. Salem's cult was investigated by the FBI for abuse, kidnapping, and a litany of other charges. And after a 22-day standoff, she finally gave up. She is currently in jail, awaiting trial, and recruiting new sisters to the cause every day.